Nancy Pelosi holding the line on a public option. As she says, the Democrats have 218 votes. For more on that, joining me now is Democratic Majority Leader in the House, Congressman Steny Hoyer. Steny, great to have you with us tonight. Hi, Ed. Always good to be with you. I do want to hear it from you. Do you have 218 votes? I heard it from Mr. Larson earlier today, but I'd like to hear it from you, and I know our audience would, too. I think we have 218 votes. Uh, we're still working. The bill's still not uh, completely done, as you know, Ed. Uh, but uh, we're working. We're working hard. And uh, as we have in the past, we think we're going to pass this bill. Okay. Now, what does this do to the Senate, if anything? The psychology of the whole thing, the momentum of the whole thing, that you've achieved this 218 mark and you can move forward with a public option, a robust public option. What's it do to the process? It's got to be a great momentum shot. Well, I certainly think that uh, when the House passes a bill, and you know, Ed, we've said we're going to give substantial notice to people, uh, so we're, we, we still have some days to go before we put this on the floor. But clearly, uh, when we pass this bill, it will give us momentum. Uh, it will send a signal to the Senate that uh, uh, we believe the overwhelming majority of the American public uh, want health reform. We think a uh, significant uh, majority want to support this bill, and I think it will send a message to the Senate uh, for movement. I think it will help Senator Reid uh, and the proponents of the bill in the Senate. All right, I'm switching subjects. I know you're aware of what Dick Cheney had to say last night at one of these right-wing gatherings, and also the Republican leadership has been very critical of the president on Afghanistan, all the way, all, almost to the point of saying that President Obama is making us weaker and isn't decisive and can't protect the country. Your response to that? Let me, let me say something. Uh, there are 28,000 more troops in Afghanistan right now than when George Bush was president of the United States. George Bush took his eye off and the Republicans took their eye off. Dick Cheney took his eye off the ball in Afghanistan, uh, went over to uh, Iraq and didn't finish the job in Afghanistan. The reason uh, President Obama is now considering what needs to be done in Afghanistan is because the former administration uh, didn't complete the job they started to do. Uh, the Taliban Taliban has been resurgent. Al Qaeda is present. Uh, McChrystal's right. They pose a danger. We've got to stabilize that country. Uh, it's critical from the standpoint of uh, terrorism. Uh, it's critical from the standpoint of uh, uh, Pakistan, which is critically important. Uh, but for Dick Cheney or any other Republican leader to criticize uh, President Obama, who was thoughtfully and carefully trying to figure out with our military leadership, uh, with his uh, advisors, the best successful policy that we can pursue in Afghanistan, I think is totally unjustified uh, from an administration, particularly a leader in the administration, uh, that took their eye off the ball in Afghanistan and left us eight years later uh, in the position we're now in. The country is shifting on Afghanistan, uh, Congressman Hoyer. Uh, will there be support from the House, majority of support from the House, if the president decides to send thousands more troops to Afghanistan? Or how much will the Progressive Caucus fight this? Ed, I don't want to anticipate what the president is going to decide. Uh, therefore, I don't want to speculate on what the support will or will not be. But I am confident that President Obama is looking at this very, very carefully to determine how we can be successful in not leaving an Afghanistan that then becomes uh, an additional center or back to a center yeah. uh, of terrorist activity and attacks in the United States. I think he's well aware of the sentiment in the party. I think he's well, uh, well aware of the sentiment in the country. I think the president is absolutely committed to doing what he yeah. believes is in the best interest of the safety of our country. And, and Mr. Majority Leader, i got to ask you, the Republicans are banging away at the Democrats and the Obama administration on job creation. Do you think yesterday's development on getting TARP money to community banks, do you think that's going to have an impact? And when do you see, think those job numbers are going to turn around because of that move? I, I think it will have an impact, but let me say the job numbers uh, have uh, have turned around. Uh, we've lost a third uh, less jobs, or two-thirds less jobs, uh, this past uh, couple of months than we lost in uh, December and November so of last year. We're going in the right year. direction. So we're going in the right direction. Yeah. We're not where we need to be. We need to create jobs. We need to have a plus uh, report on job creation. Uh, we need to have jobs for people. We're going to uh, take additional efforts uh, to accomplish more jobs in America, but hopefully the action that was taken yesterday uh, and the actions the administration has taken and that we will take legislatively in the days to come uh, will help us get there. House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, always a pleasure. Great to have you with us, Steny. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. Coming up, Michelle Bachman.